Hello, everyone. My name is Mr. Tebow, your principal here at Clear Creek, and I'd like to welcome you, if you're brand new, to our school. In just a little bit of time, it got confirmed today, our grade two and three students will be joining us on February 1st. When our pre-K, K, and one families came back, I did a series of a couple videos to give you information that's important, and so these videos are meant for that. If you're a grade four or five parent, seeing these can't hurt, as hopefully into the future, we'll be inviting them back as well. But this, this video is intended for grade two and three parents to help them with their transition back here to Clear Creek. Before we get started, though, I wanted to help uh, our friend, Mr. Grayson, in Miss Porter's class. He is paid with his ORCA tickets to be a guest on a video production here at school. So I'm going to give him a few questions he's going to answer and be on video here. Our ORCA store is something that's a lot of fun. When students demonstrate being optimistic, respectful, caring, and accountable, their teachers give out virtual ORCA tickets right now. Um, that can be done for anything, for saying hello, for being kind, for completing assignments, for doing their best. Um, and Grayson chose to be a guest on this video production. So with no further ado, here's Grayson, and we'll be back in a minute to go over some important reminders for return to school. So here is Grayson. Grayson is a kindergartner in Miss Porter's class, and I'm going to ask him some questions. So first, Grayson, what do you like to do here at school? Okay, doing homework. All right. Um, what do you do for fun at home? Um, yeah, and you like Paw Patrol too? Yeah, who's your favorite Paw Patrol person? Marshall. Marshall, awesome. Do you like that show as well? Um, the uh, Paw Patrol show? Cool, okay. And what's your favorite food? Bacon. Bacon. Nice. Okay, well, thank you for being our guest today. Can you give everybody a wave? All right. Welcome back. Thank you, Grayson. It was so nice to meet you during your visit to our video production. I wanted to show you, parents, uh, one of the most important resources you can have to help you with your transition back here to school. This is our Welcome Back Clear Creek website for grades pre-K through three, and it's got great information. For example, this is a how to arrive and how to depart video. Um, and also a little blurb here, kind of with some basics. Um, also, if I go down here, you're gonna see lots of reminders, when the gate's gonna be open, what time to have your kids um, uh, brought here to school in the morning, um, the actual time of schooling, um, visitor information, including that we're not having visitors just because of this, uh, this COVID that we're in right now. And how about a pay for supplies? It's right here. All kinds of information. We've got the arrival procedures, as you see here, um, as kids arrive with little maps and little descriptions so you can get the most important information you need. Dismissal, health screening, how we clean here at school, um, just, to, just so you know. Here's the microfibers and cleaners in every room. This is our electrostatic sprayer that we use between sessions. Um, we are very much into cleaning protocols, so you can learn more about that here. What a typical day would be like, when to keep your child home. Um, that's very important to be here at school. You have to be free of any COVID symptoms. That means if your kid has a cough, uh, loss of uh, taste or smell, shortness of breath, a fever of any kind, um, no use of Tylenol. Um, you may not use Tylenol and send a kid to school and say they don't have a fever. They have a fever. If they have any of these symptoms, you keep them home. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later, but this is also what happens if they get sick at Clear Creek, um, busing information, mass breaks, food, and much more. So this website is a great resource for you to use. Um, so please check it out in the email version of this message. The link is there. Um, it is also featured on our website, on our main website. Please check out our Welcome Back to Clear Creek um, webpage. All right, let's get back to some other announcements. All right, everyone, hopefully that website works for you. I have a couple more things I wanna talk about. The first is the importance of masks, social distancing and sanitization. Here at school, we expect kids to wear their masks. They can wear um, cloth masks like this one. This is my orca mask. Over the nose, over the mouth. They could also wear surgical type masks, uh, paper masks uh, such as KN95s or other masks that you may have, but they must wear a mask. They'll have a chance for mask breaks and for recess with their mask on, um, but they must wear a mask. 
Sanitizing. We'll be having hand sanitizers. The first thing that happens when they come in, they get some sanitizer. When we go to breaks, they get some sanitizer. We're going to have sanit uh, hand sanitizer and lots of hand washing going on. Social distancing. We'll be teaching kids what six-foot space looks like. We have these pool noodles and other things to teach that um, just to ensure we're keeping space during these times. Next, I wanted to talk to you about attestations. Actually, this is my last one for today. I'll do announcements tomorrow about some other topics, but attestations. So every student must have their parents attest, that's where attestation comes from, that their kid is free of COVID symptoms. This form got sent home to every house about a week and a half ago. You should have it at your house. If you don't, we have other ways to get it. It'll be on the email version of the message that accompanies this, and you can download it and print it. Or come by school. We'll have printed versions in a yellow folder outside in the front of the school. You fill this out um, on the very first day of school only because after that we'll have our lanyards. But it just shows that your child is free of symptoms. It has a spot there where you'll check for temperature and you'll see all this here. Your child will bring this with them to school. We'll mark it off when we take their temperature. All right. So this paper and pencil on the first day is very important. Paper and pencil attestation. After the first day, your child will bring home this. This is an attestation lanyard or card. On the back, you can check to see this every morning to see if your child's COVID-free symptoms. Then you'll check and put your initials on the day that it is. So for example, tomorrow's the 28th. If I did this with my child, I would mark that off. So when they come to school and they have this around the neck, we'll see it and let them in school after we've taken the temperature. So that's how the attestation process will work. Again, check out the email version to print one off to, to go ahead and do that for the first day or go ahead and pick one up here at school if you don't have one. Um, they'll get those lanyards after, like during the first day. So they'll have it for day two. All right, that's it for today. I don't want to overwhelm you. Tomorrow we'll be talking about what arrival might look like. Uh, we'll be talking about um, lunches because there's been lots of questions about lunches and about our staggered dismissal. So more tomorrow. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care, everyone.